Hello, and in this video, you'll learn how to create this awesome component, which has an interactive image slider and a cool gradient hover effect. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so here we have our basic Vt React app, and as always, let's begin by going into the source folder, into the components folder, and creating a new project slider.jsx. In here, you can run REFC to create a basic React component. As always, if you can't do that, go to extensions and install this extension for React snippets. Now let's make all the imports and installations. For that you can go to view and terminal and in here run npm install swiper and react dash icons. Next you can do npm run dev to run your app on localhost. And now let's control click on the link to see the app. We can go back and close the terminal. Now let's make all the imports. First of all, let's import swiper and swiper slide from swiper. Next, we can import swiper slash CSS. Import swiper slash CSS slash pagination. Also import swiper slash CSS slash free dash mode. Also import free mode and pagination only with a capital P, which will be coming from swiper slash modules. And finally, we can import our X arrow right which will be coming from react-icons slash rx. Next thing we can do is over here say swiper slash react. I forgot to put that. Also, you can go to app.jsx and say project slider over here. Now, if we go to the app, let's see if everything is working. And yes, the project slider is here. Now, back over here, we can remove this text and style the div. First of all, it will have a height of screen, flex container, flex dash call, on medium devices and bigger, it will be flex dash row with a gap of five. Also, items dash center and justify dash center. It will have a background of hash 331.854. Inside of here, we can create the wrapper div for the slider. We have a class name of width 70% of the screen and also medium device and higher a width of 40%. All right, so in here we can say the swiper and it will have some parameters. First of all, it will have some breakpoints, essentially different screen sizes. In this case, it will be essentially all the same. So we can say slides per view of 1 and space between of 15. We can add a comma here and duplicate this for 700. And continue. First of all, we can say free mode, which will be true. Also, we can say pagination equals clickable true modules, an array of free mode, and pagination. And that is all. In here, we can have a swiper slide. This can have a class name of margin bottom of 14. Inside of here, we can have a div, which will be the grid. So class name, grid, grid dash calls dash two, gap dash four, and padding x of 10. Now inside of the div, we can say purple images dot map image, make an instant return and make a div over here. Now purple images are coming from our constants. So from constants and index.js. So we have purple images and orange images. I will have this in the description below. So in here, we can give this a class name of relative and group 
and give this a key of image.source. Now, in here we can add the image itself. So we can say image, give it a source, which will obviously be image.source, an alt of purple image, a class name of rounded dash md h dash 240 pixels w dash 240 pixels and object dash cover all right so under this image we can have a self-closing div which will have a class name of cursor dash pointer absolute inset dash zero bg dash gradient to r from dash purple dash 800 via dash pink dash 500 to dash purple dash 800 and bg dash opacity dash zero or simply opacity dash zero be correct and group dash hover will be opacity of 70. So under here we have another div which will have a class name of absolute inset dash zero flex items dash center justify dash center cursor dash pointer next opacity dash zero group dash hover opacity dash 100 and transition dash all inside of here we can have some text of view project and under here we have an rx arrow right which will have a class name of margin left dash 2 w dash 24 pixels and height of 24 pixels also let's add group dash hover over here i made a small mistake and also text dash white and let's look at the result this is working perfectly but all we have to do now is implement the second part of the slider now to do that we'll simply copy this swiper slide as the second one will be almost identical the only thing we'll change is make this orange images next we'll make this 900 and 900 and so pink will make it orange. Now, if we go back, the slider has appeared. And as you can see, this has a different gradient. It's all interactive and working perfectly. We can add another small change over here in this div of max-w-240 pixels. So it's always the right size. And also rounded-md. We can do the same thing over here. So max dash w dash 240 pixels and rounded dash md also at the top right below the main div we can add some text this is simply a div with an h1 that contains span and a p tag nothing complicated if we go back over here as you can see everything is working perfectly the slider is moving we have different gradients on each part that are exactly the right size so yeah, the project is finished. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.